What is the point of investing in general? Is it rigged? Do the rich only get richer? Do the poor get even poorer? What is the point of investing in general, like in life? Like what's the end goal with it? Is investing in general rigged for the poor and middle class? What's up guys, my name is Kevin and today I'll be talking about the point of investing in life and just being financial literate in general. Something I became aware of at like a young age since like senior year of high school. Like most people really just don't know how to like invest in general and know the basic of just personal finance. When you look around your everyday life, do people have like negative beliefs about money? They want to save, 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 live frugal, frugal, frugal. But when you ask them what you gonna do with their money at, as like their end goal, they don't really have an answer. They, I guess, been conditioner or been programmed like is it because from their parents, schools, or like in society in general, like we don't want to live life now. We're gonna live it later. But really, like, investing is going to really set yourself up right now if you're young, in high school and college, and when you retire. And investing is for everyone. You don't need to be a hot shot picking individual stocks. I mean, I like to do them. Take the time and energy and focus on that. But what about index fund investing as a long-term investor? It's total stock market index. Investing in crypto or even real estate in general as a long-term investor. Emphasizing long-term investor. And if you want to be successful in investing in general, you just have that mindset right or psychology right. There's no really such thing in this world like to get rich quick or a Ponzi scheme. If there was, I would be doing it and millions and billions of people would be doing it on a consistent basis. Why do the rich get richer? Because they have asset producing income. They know where they're putting their money. They're putting their money into index funds, individual stocks, putting a low allocation into crypto, like 5 to 8% of their portfolio investing as a long-term investor. And if they have their nine to five job, they're probably maxing out their 401k with the most aggressive fund. And number two, having a Roth IRA, opening up with Vanguard and just cost averaging up into an index fund each and every single month, allocating $500 per month into it. Or they're starting their own business. And the rich, you gotta see like how rich people think. Like they invest in the stock market, they invest into crypto, they invest into real estate, they have different cash flows, they have retirement accounts, dividends. And it's really, really kind of like that simple. It really just starts with you. How are you spending your money? What are your habits with money? What are your, what are your limiting beliefs about it? It starts with square one. Where am I spending my money? And becoming aware, like, how much money am I spending on in specific categories? If you're not willing to do that, how are you willing to become, like, financial literate in general? And there are many reasons people invest for the long term. Is it to create generational wealth for their families? Donating it to charity like Warren Buffett? Or really just creating their rich life? now and, and when they retire. Like we ask ourselves, we work for 40 years at our nine to five, but what's that kind of that end goal? And people say, oh, I'm gonna travel all around the world. I'm gonna start my hobby, my passion when I retire. Why not start now? Building on that side, building good habits and building that momentum when you're young and you might not see the results now, but five, six down the line, you're gonna thank yourself. Look up like a compounding interest calculator on Google and see like play around with those numbers. How much I can really just make from that amount of money. and Investing personal finance is really just like a and putting to like simple perspectives like really easy if you take the time to to really just like reflect and okay where am I putting most of my money do I have a budget am I maxing out my retirement accounts am I investing into individual stocks index cryptos like I'm not going specifically in this video but I just want to have like to have an open mind about it do I have in a savings account or emergency fund that's gonna last me two to three months if I lose my job it's not never gonna happen but just for what ifs. Number two, do I have guilt free spending? Why not allocate 10 to 15% uh, free spending? So you don't have to be worrying about money. Okay, I'm gonna spend this amount of money on guilt free things like if it's buying clothing, shoes, books, alcohol, whatever like kind of excites you, spend, spend it on that. Each one of us has this thing like we like to spend our monies on, but society tells us to think the opposite, save, 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 budget, 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 live frugal, frugal, frugal. But really like you should just live life now. And kind of like just summing up this video, like when you take the time to really just set yourself up financially and just knowing what personal finance is and financial literacy is, it's going to set you up in all areas of life. Like how do I start? Okay, first step, know how to budget. Where are you spending most of your money? You could use the Mint app or many bank apps help you with that to track your expenses. Easy for anyone to read and analyze it. Number two. If you have a job, why not max out your retirement accounts, 401k and Roth IRA, the most aggressive fund for the 401k and index fund investing into Roth IRA. And if you have money left over you want to invest, why not take the time, learn, okay, I can make money in 
in picking individual stocks, but it takes time, dedication, energy, or investing into crypto, or buying rental homes for single family homes for real estate. There are many aspects of it, but what resonates with you? It's a kind of a lot, but, and one of the last things is like guilt-free spending. What do you want to spend money on that really excites you? 10, 15% of it allocated each and every single month. Have an emergency fund, saving account. Know the importance of really just your credit score in general and having the best credit cards. Thank you for watching and peace out.